Have you ever thought about being a camp host or work camping? Well, in this video, we meet a couple of folks who do just that. Stick around. You might be surprised at what's all involved. That's coming up. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, as we talk about work camping today, I just wanted to cover a couple of different words that are used around this subject, as well as their definition. You may hear words like camp host or park host and certainly work camping. Well, they basically mean the same thing. Now, you won't find the word work camper in Webster's Dictionary, but you'll find it down at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. That term was coined by Work Camper News, but their official definition of a work camper goes like this. Work campers are adventurous individuals, couples, and families who have chosen a wonderful lifestyle that combines any kind of part-time or full-time work with RV camping. If you work as an employee, operate a business, or donate your time as a volunteer and sleep in your RV, then you are a work camper. Now that said, a camp host is generally a term used for private campgrounds and the term park host generally used for state and national parks, but they mean about the same thing as well. Uh, they all include any activity that involves the exchange of labor hours for anything of value. It can be a paycheck or it can be a free RV site or both. So in today's video, we have the opportunity to speak with a couple of camp hosts. Hey, don't forget, there are links down below for more information on work camping. And let us know in the comments about your experience as a camp host. What did you like about it? What did you dislike about it? And would you do it again in the future? I'd love to hear from you on this matter. Now, let's get to the video. This is Camp Rivers Landing, a small, quiet RV park that's perched on the edge of the Little Pigeon River. It's located in the wildly popular Pigeon Forge, Tennessee and just minutes from the always busy Gatlinburg, as well as the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. It may not have some of the glitz and glamour of other RV parks in the area, but it does have the basics. One road in, one road out. A heated pool, a bathhouse with a laundry, a playground, full hookups and a good Wi-Fi. Some of the RV sites are small, some are very large. A few have concrete pads. Most do not. However, for the 25 plus years that I've been coming here, I find its offering of a relaxing, calm, peaceful environment under its canopy of large oak trees simply beyond temptation. And somehow, it seems to connect me back, in part, to nature. And on this trip, I was interested to know what it was like working in the RV park that holds so many special memories for me. Well, we caught up with two employees for my answer. Meet April. She is one of two camp hosts. And each morning, she begins her day with a short walk from her RV to the campground office, where she holds the title of office manager here she brings the business end of the campground to life. And with the press of a button, the open sign is illuminated. Merchandise moved to the patio. Good morning. Good morning. And this is Teresa. She's also a camp host here and serves as the general manager of the park. They were gracious enough to sit down with me for a short interview. And my first question to them was, what is a camp host? A camp host is a person or couple that stays here. Sometimes they are in exchange for their stay, they work on property. So like for us, we work on property, but we also get paid to work. So when we clock out, as you would say clock out at 5 o'clock, we go to our campers, we're still on call because we're camp hosts. So anybody has any problems, questions or concerns, we're there to help them. And next I wanted to know what was their typical day like at their specific RV park? When we come in in the mornings, we open the office. We check for late arrivals, late check-ins from yesterday, online reservations, check with maintenance, make sure there's no issues. Um, we do that nine to five. We leave at five, we go back to our campers. You know, and we're just, we're on call the rest of the evening. 
My next question to them was, what type of calls do you receive after hours? It's usually something to do with their TV. Their TV cable. A lot of people don't realize when they have a camper and they come into a campground and it has cable, that they need to cut their cable booster off inside their camper and then scan their channels. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't do that and it only picks up like 20 channels. And they'll say, I can't get our cable working. Mm -hmm. So we tell them to do that or we go to buy there and we take care of that for them. Tom answers calls at night time too and if mm -hmm. it's something that we can take care of he'll call and tell us mm -hmm. yeah. or even donna yeah. she'll if it's something with a reservation you know maybe somebody for a campsite she she'll does. she'll do it and let us know and next i noticed they did all the scheduling for the events and activities at the campground we do we schedule um, a couple events a month and so when we're not doing an event we're working our way up to the event. We're scheduling DJs, we're scheduling musicians, we're ordering food, um, and we're preparing the barn for set up for it. So when we clock out on a Saturday to uh, go home, we go to the barn because that's usually when we have our events and we'll do the events. So we'll feed all the people that's here and then we'll go to the fire pit and we have music down there and we'll have a fire pit s'mores stuff like that that goes on down there and on this event day in the morning holler at me if you need anything well they didn't make it back to their rvs until after 10 p.m which brought me to my next question as a camp host, do you ever feel like you're off duty? Well, we get two days a week usually off, yeah. but we never get a weekend off because we're that's our busiest time here at the campground. So when your family is off, most people are off on weekends, you're not with them because you're at the campground. Yeah. Um, but that's a negative and it's a positive sometimes. I mean, my kids love coming up here. I know April's kids right. love coming up here. So, kids would rather be here, I think, than they would be at home. Yeah. So, so it's it's negative and positive mm -hmm. to a certain extent. If you're off, you're still here on property. Somebody's here on property all the time, at least. So. Somebody is always here. We try to work together. You know, she needs to go somewhere to do something. You know, I'm here. You know, vice versa. Mm -hmm. We work together. And when asked about what their favorite part of the job was, meeting people. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. see where they're at, uh, see where they're coming from. I mean, usually when they leave here, I don't know, you feel like they're family. It's not that they're just a stranger. Most of them will come into the office or will go by their campsite or something like that. So yeah. it's, it's like having family. Just something different every day, you know, and it's not really, it don't really feel like a job to me because it's just camping. It's just, it's just fun. What's your least favorite about being a camp host? Yeah, when you live in a camper 24 hours, it's a day, seven days a week. You know, sometimes it seems good to get out and go to someone's house and visit or something like that. I mean, and you miss that part of the home, you know, when you're staying here all the time. I guess it would be the, the home feel aspect. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have your big house, the big yard, but I basically love being here as a camp host. Hey, a big thank you to Teresa in April for their time in this interview. And I hope the video was helpful to you and provided some insights about work camping. To see more videos, click on one of those on the screen and we'll see you there. Until then, be well and stay safe.